The Ravens are going to run counter, asking their center, Brad Bozeman, uh, to make a very difficult block to come out and get this five technique who is upfield uh, and effectively seal him. This doesn't turn out very well. This guy chases down the back. Uh, again, this is a very difficult block, but when we're talking about Linderbaum as supremely athletic, I would say based on what I've watched, he's going to be able to come out and make this block, at least seal this guy backside. And let's say, for example, he's able to, to beat this five technique to the spot and get on his inside shoulder a little bit there. Lamar may be able to pull this ball and run weak. Uh, they do run strong here, this counter. And again, it's just very difficult block they're asking Bozeman to make. If we're talking simply about athleticism uh, that Linderbaum uh, possesses compared to other centers, not just Bozeman, this play right here uh, speaks for itself. I may speak a little bit regardless. You see him get blown up here. Perhaps his foot stepped on a little bit, lose his balance, regain it on this screenplay. Watch this guy move in space. The Ravens are going to run power, pulling their left guard. I'll run the play. You see the quarterback chase down backside and just leveled. Uh, that outside linebacker is able to throw his full weight on Lamar. Um, linebacker comes over the top. The tackle isn't able to get on him. Good block, down block here by 85. Um, don't like to see that. So how does this relate to Linderbaum and, and Bozeman? Bozeman does a nice job. He's more than capable after checking the nose guard inside of coming out and getting this five tech who's coming to him. So I don't know why Villanueva is being, able, being asked to get fully in that gap there and then be very, very late in coming over. Uh, and again, how does this relate to, to Linderbaum? They're not gonna, there's not going to be any misapprehensions as to whether or not Linderbaum can not only make this block, but can catch uh, any DN or five technique spikes inside here, trying to chase this thing backside. And you'll be able to keep your left tackle home. With Linderbaum at center, it would surprise me a great deal if the, we don't see a lot more uh, zone concepts out of the Ravens. Uh, we see outside zone here. This is pretty impressive stuff where he's able to reach three players <laughs> on one play. He's helping with a spiking uh, one technique right here. That's uh, Tyler. Five technique coming across. I like how he drives his body into him, kind of uses him as part of the block uh, and picks up the will. Now watch him continue to work his legs and his hands inside toward the end of this block effectively reaches this guy really impressive stuff and, and I think we should uh, be expecting more outside zone this year from the Ravens Linderbaum consistently gets great movement off of double teams uh, combo blocks you can see him here get great movement and then have great timing to pick up this mic, come downhill, watch him fit him up and drive his legs and stay on the block. Watch it again. This is not a video I intent on um, nitpicking Bozeman. I think he's a good player. I think his biggest problem, oddly enough, to my mind, was his snaps. Um, but he's athletic enough, he's versatile, and that he can play guard and center. Uh, he's not as athletic, of course, as Linderbaum. This is a nice little scheme. I reckon we're going to see this sort of thing in spades. Bozeman's going to pull and get on this four-eye. They're going to wham block uh, this nose tackle with the tight end coming across. And then ISO on the mic with Ricard. One of the, the more undersold aspects of Linderbaum's game, at least to my mind, uh, is the movement he generates off double teams. Watch him versus Michigan here. He's consistent in this. 
Watch how he and the right guard are able to drive this nose all the way back uh, onto the feet of the backside linebacker. And then Linderbaum comes off and gets on that block as well. It should be noted that Linderbaum at times will be asked to block some pretty powerful, long guys. For example, Cam Hayward. Um, you can see Bozeman does not fare too well. He's not alone. Uh, basically, our O-line is getting killed here along with our pullers by the Steelers front. I'm amazed as I watch these clips at how ineffective the Ravens are or were blocking the end man on the line of scrimmage. Some of that might have to do with Bozeman getting blown up here. And in fairness, this is the area that we'll see, we're likely to see Linderbaum have some growing pains in. These guys with strength and length across from him. You can see he presses Bozeman back. Locks out and gets off that block. Even when he doesn't get great movement uh, as he's playing against a big body across from him, as we see here, this guy has great, great grip strength and continues to drive his legs. This guy cannot get off of him. And watch how he continues to drive and finish this block.